Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are back with another video on a concept for which we have created a short YouTube short uh, quite a long time before. So this as you can see on my screen it's about webhooks. So webhook um, um, is a feature like uh, within the UiPath uh, orchestrator where you can actually um, set it up and uh, what it does basically as per the UiPath documentation also so it, it enables us to integrate the UiPath automation with your application ecosystem so what exactly they mean by application ecosystem means like suppose uh, there are certain events orchestrator events are there right sometimes like say when a job is started uh, in an orchestrator or when a job is created basically or it got failed or it got success or let's say there is an item which is added to the queue in such all events what it does is basically sends the event details to the external app so external app could be uh, a dcm bpm business process management crm solution uh, and what with this what you can do is you can show the data of your uipath orchestrator uh, like the data from your uipath orchestrator into the different application okay uh, so if we go by again um, you know what um, as per the document whatever is mentioned on this portal of UiPath is the webhooks allow the external system to subscribe and listen to different type of events okay um, page enables you to easily set it up we will do a small demo and uh, we'll see how we can set it up and how the details of all these events are coming uh, to the portal okay so i am going to use this webhook dot site um, you know a web application where you can get the unique url and you can easily see what all events like whatever uh, events are happening in the orchestrator it will show you the details over it okay so i am going to use this but for you you can either create a simple api also to use that data and send it across any channel either it's team email uh, slack um, you know any any mean where you want to send that data you can uh, extract I mean you will get the event data uh, like like let's say once a job is started so that event one once that event happens it sends the data to your application uh, application here could be an API also a simple API which will get the data and post their data to to some some other application or you can integrate it directly to the MS teams also there is concept of incoming webhooks and outgoing webhooks in the ms team so that also is possible um, and you can integrate it directly with the certain uh, bpms business process management tools like um, you know and like pega or um, yeah like pega pega and others and similarly you can integrate it with crm tools uh, so for now uh, just to show you how it works for this demo purpose, I'm going to use this URL. This would be the URL, which is um, um, could be your API URL also. So for now, for this demo, I'm going to use this and tell you how to configure it. So what we need to do is we need to open the orchestrator. Okay, log into your uh, you know UiPath orchestrator. Navigate to your tenant section, then. On the tenant side, you can see the cons, uh, you know, the link over here, the tab of webhooks. Okay, there is no webhook here currently. So what I'll do, I'll quickly add it. Let's name it uh, test uh, demo. Okay. Description, you can give anything. For now, I will leave it as it is. URL, I have copied the URL from here, so I'll copy it once again and then paste it over here. <coughs> so disable ssl where not recommended so we will not uh, do anything uh, you know we'll leave it as it is for now secret will key is not for now is not required we will leave it as of as it is so let's save it so what exactly happens now is whenever i'll execute any uh, okay uh, another thing uh, i think i forgot yeah send all events or send individual events let's see what individual events are of so here you can see 
uh, we we got uh, different type of events from uh, like in the orchestrator which will happen like let's say under jobs we have job completed job faulted job created job stopped job started suspended so whenever any such thing happens or any whenever such events happen it sends the data to this webhook site currently it's my webhook site where the data will be posted but yes in actual this data will be posted to another application or let's say an, any other api through which you can um, send it to anyone over email slack or teams whatever information you want to share okay so same way uh, we have it uh, you know the events for job like similarly for action if suppose an task under the task uh, you know action center if suppose a task is assigned changed completed created same way if suppose a queue item is added uh, transaction completed transaction failed abandoned or started same way robot created deleted updated queue uh, you know there are certain events for queue queue created deleted updated process created deleted updated and trigger schedule failed so so these are all type of events which uh, you know in which you can send the data to the third party application uh, or the let's say uh, api or any um, crm or bpm tool okay so but uh, for the demo i will keep it uh, select all type of event so that we can see what exactly it's sending and uh, uh, we'll see how it is sending the payload so let's click on update here um, okay we have the webhook now okay and currently in this you can uh, see um, we don't have any information yet so all the data all the data which was sent from that um, you know um, api i mean from this uh, orchestrator event it will be easily shown over here okay so currently uh, there was a single uh, ping ping event was happened i will just delete it there is nothing as such for now so let's do one thing let's quickly execute a process and see if we are getting any data over this side so just to show you again there is no data over here okay so let's say i want to execute a job okay i will try to restart it this one and uh, i'll quickly see okay find i'll click a start okay so the start job integration the job is actually running it started so let's see if we yeah so we got two uh, events here let's say two uh, details over here so one one is for the job started you see the type okay uh, so you see the type one here is the job started okay uh, the state at the time when the job was started was running okay info waiting for execution so everything like once it has was started it gives you everything machine name release id everything it gives you about okay and uh, created also was there job created and the last one is job job completed when the job got completed so everything related to the job actually you can see it is posting to the other application this application could be again crm or your bpm anything or any single you um, know api also through which you can transfer the data to any other uh, you know uh, either email or any other channel of communication so okay this is uh, we tested it for the job and in the job you can see all this information are coming the output parameter once the job got completed you can easily see the robot id on which it executed release details tenant details and the organization id as well let's say um, we'll we'll try to uh, you know let's say i'll create a queue here let's create a queue just for testing let's do a test test and description nothing i don't want to do anything over here let's create an ad so test queue is added and you can see over here one event already you can see uh, you know the event actually occurred of creation queue created okay so uh, same way the total number of maximum retries is one which is by default thing uh, the tenant detail user id again the name of the queue the description is was blank so everything like on each uh, event like everything whatever you do over here uh, the data will be posted to the third applica third party application or to any any other application where you want to you know send the data uh, from the uh, orchestrator so this is how uh, we can use the concepts of webhook okay and um, 
if you guys are interested to see how we can create an api through which we can actually get this data into that api and then through that api we will send that data either um, you know i mean to uh, either either send the data over the email or send it or post the data on teams channel or any particular uh, you know uh, communication uh, mean could be slack or uh, let's say discord anything so you can actually send the data anywhere you can easily integrate it with the any vpm or any crm tool and get the event details in your uh, application ecosystem so yeah that's all about uh, webhook and if you guys have any questions query if you have any doubt kindly comment on the video we'll try to resolve it and uh, if you want me to show you how to you know create the api also please uh, let let me know over the comments we'll we'll try to create another video with the details how we can create that api to which this ui path orchestrator uh, will send the details and then that api will send the ticket details further to any any other channel so we can do that but kindly let us know what you want all right then guys uh, thanks for watching my video if you like the content i would request you to kindly like subscribe and share this channel so that uh, we can also grow with you thanks